I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my own story before we get started and let you understand why it is that I'm so passionate and so committed to this story that we're, we're going to unfold for you today. It takes some courage to understand the story because we have to open ourselves to grief. So the question is, do we have the courage to hold the grief that comes with the end of a story? It's my belief that this is the end of a story. I came to this knowledge about um, global warming on an emotional level about two years ago. I was coming back from England and I was flying to Denver and it was a direct flight and our flight for some reason was directed on a more northerly pass than it had uh, been planned and as it turned out we flew directly over Greenland. Now I had flown over Greenland several times in the 60s and the 70s as a child because um, I had grown up, grown up overseas and I knew about Greenland, I, I, I knew it was a massive Green, um, you know, white expanse, unbroken, clean, just this unending sheet of ice. So when I flew over Greenland in sep early September of 2012, I was not prepared for what I saw. The first thing that I saw were thousands and thousands of icebergs. As we, as we approached the, the island from uh, England towards, you know, flying west, there were thousands upon thousands upon thousands of icebergs in the water. At first I thought the, the water was very choppy and very rough, but then I soon realized that these were actually icebergs and they had been discharged from the island itself. I didn't see the island yet. Then we got closer and I saw the island and it was a towering mass of gray stone mountains rising up sharply. And the ice cover was very, very thin and very dirty and runny and it, the whole thing, and, and, and keep in mind too, this was the southern half of the, of the island, but it looked like a, a melted ice cream cone sundae and it was very, very sad. A lot of very dark, very condensed ice. And I had a visceral awakening at that moment because the comparison of going over Greenland 30 and 40 years earlier and now was stark, was shocking. And I realized that global warming is very, very much underway. So this is, you know, my effort to tell you about this situation today.